G'day folks, we're just uh, fresh from the hunter and uh, obviously Christopher here is still in his cowboy attire, he loved the hunter, we uh, drove down last Wednesday morning, up, up, across, with Formula One driver Yusuke Ishikawa, that's right, made the fastest turns known to man, made Hamilton look tame, um, but first stop, wouldn't, yes, see the first sons and daughters of Zeus ain't, Arrived at eight o'clock in the morning down the valley. Beautiful, just mm. beautiful. Stunning. Anthony Thompson and his team, passionate, put so much in. Um, horses look great. Obviously, Zoo Star stands there. Zoo Sane's having his first season there, which is a horse we trained. And um, they're just good, tough horses, aren't they? Yeah. And uh, Anthony gave up his time and talked us through them and told us which ones run fast, which ones run slow, we've got it all sorted. And then we jump back in the car straight to Barrymore? Yes, yep. Paul looked after us there. Jerry couldn't make it. He was... It was Luke. Luke. Luke lives in Bondi, doesn't oh, he? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but they had a lovely mix of horses, obviously yeah. different, different type of farm. Um, genuine farmers, breeders, not as commercial, I guess you could say, because They've got numbers, and but the ones they do pick for the sales, they're beauties. He's, they've got a lovely draft. Um, Barrymore's a little bit unique because they don't have their own stallions, so they pick and choose the stallions they go to and do a fantastic job with their matings, and yeah, quite unique. So it was good so to a see a couple of nice ones out of, out of Mares you trained as yeah, well, Yeah, a couple of exciting, so. well, Mr. Harvey's been a great supporter of ours, and... Um, yeah, and, 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 and obviously we try and support them when we can. So we normally buy one or two every year and get one and two to train. Absolutely. Then we jump back in the car, Through zipped the, along uh, what a, yeah. Zipped along to Arrowfield, nearly killed a cow on the way. Yeah, she did. Yeah. 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 Went the wrong way, went a couple through of times. road diversion, Open went up. over a bridge I'm pretty sure we weren't meant to go over, that kind of thing. Yeah, took down a barrier that the road was closed. Yeah. Anyway, points on his licence, I suppose, not ours. What was Mr. Masaro's draft like? Very good. Yeah, just sort of, like the, they've spent a lot of money there and done their yearling barn up a treat. Looks mm. a, just a, a dream. Isn't it? Horses look great. Obviously, you've got the Autumn Sun, and it's taken by Castle Vecchio. He's got some nice young stock. Um, and the Normals, the Schnitzels, the Shalars. It was just yeah. a good group of horses, good yeah, mix. Um, beautiful pedigrees and yeah, just good to see Mr. Masara there. Still gets in there amongst them and and the team. And John Frey, and yeah. John and great cell. Yeah. Just a good family type environment that um, the Masara breed some good horses. They do. Then that was that was it for looking at horses for the day. Yes. So we duck back to Cornwall. Love, yeah, stayed a lovely it's dinner. Beautiful dinner at Cornwall. Well looked after. Stayed at their um, house, the retreat it was called. Yep. Took us back to... Uh, Who stayed there before us? Uh, the cause. Yeah, the cause. Got it. Visitor's book was impressive. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. And um, we lit a fire. Yep. Didn't I lit a fire. You lit a fire. Yeah. Warmed us up. It was freezing. Freezing. Freezing in the hunter. Lit so. the old log fire. That got us going at about 4am, do our normal sort of duties, and then jump back in the car, flew down to Vinery, Yes. looked at Vinery's draft first. Mr Orton and Adam looked after us there, a nice group of horses. They did. Um, another unique operation, they've got sort of five or six investors in Vinery, and yeah, some good supporters of our stable, and um, some beautiful some nice horses. Stuff. Great to see the Hunter Valley looking so green. Yeah, it's amazing. It is. It's just just different. It just makes the whole f feel different, doesn't it? The yep. horses overall look fantastic. And then back in the car to Sajinhoe. Yeah, quick quick drive to Sajinhoe. Brian, Brian, young Brian looked after looked us. Looked after us and we bumped into oh, Pete, the Pete, leader of the camp. Peter had a toothache. Oh, Guy Moncaster. Peter had a toothache. Did he? I think. Yeah, he was at the dentist, that's yeah. right. But um, their horses look good as usual. A few... Goddamn hots, were they? Too darn hots. God damn. Too darn hats. <laughs> <laughs> they look pretty Too good. Too darn hot. Yeah. yeah. Too darn tell, hot. You, you've point. got a stat about that horse. 
Yeah, too darn hot. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was on their their ad advertisement it was Galileo, Deep Impact, Kingman, and obviously Too Darn Hot all were out of Group One winners. Group One winners themselves and by Group One winners, but Too Darn Hot's grandparents are all Group One winners too, and the others aren't. So obviously regally bred and um, pretty hot. He was pretty pretty damn good himself. Mm -hmm. So. No, they were, they were, there was a good group of horses there and well paraded and, yeah, great farm here, Jinho as well, Mr. Maloney. Yep, and then to Yarraman. Yes, Mr. Mitchell looked after us there. Um, and the dog. I think you are more taken by Steve Holmes' dog, weren't you? Yeah, he's a pretty good dog, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, you could almost almost came home with a, with a, with a black lab, or a mm. chocolate lab, actually, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, horses looked great. Um... Always do it at the farm, don't yeah, they? Yeah, Matt looked after us and everybody. Um, yeah, I'm Invincible is just an amazing story, isn't it? Yeah, it's incredible. But and it I, again, Yarraman unique. They go thrive. for speed and the speed mares, the country style raising of the horses, and um, yeah, it's an amazing success story. It is indeed. Where did we go then? Oh. One of the one of the big items. Where Newgate. Ah, Newgate. Henry, Henry Field and Jim. And Jim. Oh, Jim. Can't Jim cook a steak? Can you what? That's one of the best steaks I've had. What about the wine? wine Henry good. Henry brought out the nice wine to entertain Chris and then couldn't make it himself. <laughs> Didn't stop Jim though, did it? No. Right. <laughs> Jim was doing his exercises and <laughs> making sure he deserved it and looked after us well. But the horses looked great. Yeah, they Again, did. Again, Newgate, a little bit unique. They've started quick. They've risen to the level required and an amazing sale season Huge last operation. year they get good winners to ratio ratio to winners um horses look fantastic range of stallions speed again and um yeah you come away with so gee you take any one of that draft and you'd be pretty happy absolutely then back to bed and up, up again for another early start in front of the log fire and looked at a few homebred stock yeah, around the yeah. Cornwall Ingham and Capitas and horses. Um, they've got some nice young horses coming through and happened to see, um, yeah, some nice horses. Yeah. I'll tell you what I was taking with was Niall. He took us around and gave me a bit of a tour of what they do with the young the foals from basically yeah, day, power. Day, yeah, day one um, and just the little things that you wouldn't ever consider that you see those horses running out on a racetrack or um, us talking about in our preview but what they come through and the challenges they have as young horses and what so the, fragile what the farms like yeah. Cornwall do just to help them from health and well-being to help their confirmation and just like there was dead set 10 different paddocks and they have a rotation system this one goes there if it's got that problem this one goes there and they gradually all walk or go around the circle into bigger 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 paddocks a bit of um uphill undulation mm. towards the end and all up you end up in the same mm. same field it might Pretty be amazing um, some horses might take three months to get there some might be there in six weeks but overall um pretty impressive and it just gives you it just shows how um yeah the small percentages in this game really do work and the small percentages that you would never ever consider do go on behind the scenes and, yeah. yeah it was good it was a good wake up for me and that's their stock their um, draft, yeah well after rather. that we went to the yearlings and i would say it would be close to their best magic millions draft if not the best um I don't talk rubbish uh, when I'm talking about horses. Some people might think I do, but I don't. They look, just looked outstanding. Again, yeah. a nice group of horses, different stallions. Good selection. Yeah. Um, yes, 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 his first season. There's a couple of nice ones by him, uh, as well as their very commercial stock. Yeah. Um, the Fast Air Rocks still look great. Yeah. Um, past them. So they had a big group of horses, Colts, Phillies. They've got some good supporters there with great families and 
Yeah, it was it was a good good fun. Yeah. That, was, that was the last one. Yeah, that was the last one. Soon back to Sydney, a little little um, drinks at Mondi. And... Yeah, with a couple of owners, and then away we went to bed with a pretty pretty long week, eh? With a pretty tired eyelid. Mm. Mm. Anyway, that's a bit of an insight as to how yeah, we went, mate. <laughs> that was a terrible accent. Go again. Come on, get out. Get out, mate. Oh, that's better. Happy Christmas, folks. <laughs>